What's up, guys? Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. Today, I am joined by my man, Colton Love. Great to be here. Absolutely. Glad to have him. So in this video, we're going to do a couple different things. We've got a normal <laughs> Raptor over here, and we've got a 37 Performance Package over here. We're going to do a walk around on the vehicle and show you what's going on with this 37 Performance Package. But before we do that, I want to turn it over to my man, Colton Love, to tell us a little bit about uh, the customer and also what we did with the vehicle. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the first thing I want to talk about is the actual particular customer that we have here. You know, we like to do collaborations and, and work with other YouTubers. And then this one is kind of kind of cool for me because it's actually someone I follow. I'm a big dirt bike guy. I ride dirt bikes, work on dirt bikes. I just love everything dirt bikes. I grew up with them and that's, that's you know, that's kind of my, my thing. Um, this guy's actually, like I said, he, I follow his YouTube channel. I, I got hooked on him because of his two-stroke builds. You know, I'm a little old school. I still like two-strokes. You know, past that, he has a bunch of riding videos, pit bike stuff. Um, he really just lives the lives the dirt bike life, and it, it's just cool to see somebody out there doing that. And you know, I, I follow him for that entertainment purpose. I got with him, and he specifically said he was looking for a Raptor, so I got his stuff to Mitchell, and he re Mitchell reached out to him, and then. He said he wanted to work with us and we were able to get together with him and actually get him this particular truck. Um, so on this new Raptor, uh, this is Ford's first year to actually put a 37 from the factory on a truck. And this is a BFG KO2. It is a 37, 12 and a half, 17. It's not a metric size. It is a true 37, 12 and a half, 17. Um, what we did here, we got with a customer, had him pick out some wheels and we got him these KMC wheels here. They're a 17 by eight and a half with a zero offset. Um, I think they really tie in this truck together and, and make it a look a lot more tough. So one of the things they did do with this, since it is a 37, they kind of limited the travel. That way you're not blowing your fenders off and stuff like that if you if you go over something kind of rough or anything like that. Uh, one of the big things they did is they went from the uh, original leaf spring suspension to a cool spring in the rear. And that just helps with articulation, travel and stuff like that. It's better for off-road. It's more active. It helps a little bit. Uh, it does affect your tow, tow rate a little bit, but you know, not a lot of people are going to be towing with this thing. This is a, a kind of a an off-roading sporty truck, so not a lot of people are going to tow with it. Uh, the 37 package just come with this awesome looking graphic. Uh, if Josh could maybe tell me somewhere in here what this uh, what this map is right here, that'd be cool. But if you do know, if you do know what this well, is a map of, no, 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 I know exactly what that is. That is a map of every location that the Ram TRX broke down uh, at the Baja 1000. Oh well, there it is. Now we know. No, but if you actually know what this is a map of, if you could put that down there in the comments, that'd be really cool because because I'm really interested in that and I'd like to know. Uh, this particular vehicle also comes with an active exhaust now. I think that we may have put that in our last video, but that is just another cool thing that they have here. And this thing sounds super tough. I mean, everybody says, you know, these things don't sound tough because they're a V6. This is a tough sounding truck. This thing sounds awesome when you've got this thing opened up. Now, in my opinion, that sounds awesome. Uh, I would like to hear y'all's guys' feedback because we always like to hear what y'all think about it, but that is definitely not your normal V6 EcoBoost sound. That is an awesome sounding exhaust. It, it's loud, it's rumbly, it's deep. Um, but yeah, just let us know in the comments what you think about that because that is that is one good sounding exhaust in my opinion. Well, that's kind of some big shoes to fill. Uh, good job on Colton giving you guys kind of the inside look at those things. But what I want to talk about now is a couple things he did not talk about and that's on the front end of the vehicle. So the first thing you'll notice is that you've got these massive amber LED marker lamps which are a lot bigger than the previous gen Raptor. As you can see, it's elongated instead of more like the, the little, just a normal light bulb if you will. And as you can see, they're also elongated over here as well. So I think that really does go into the design aesthetic of where you have much of a wider appearance from here to here. It almost looks like the headlights match into the grill themselves. So I really do like the way that that particular thing looks. Now, the other fun thing about the Raptor is now the 
1A equipment group and above comes with rigid LED fog lights located right here in the front bumper. I guess Ford saw that a lot of customers were customizing it with it anyways and Ford used that partnership to go ahead and start uh, putting that from the factory. Now you'll also notice what's interesting is the two inner lights are actually covered and I'm assuming these are uh, because these are off-road driving lights only and I'm assuming that these are DOT approved fog lights. Now if I'm wrong please roast me in the comments I'd love to have that. Uh, a couple of other things I want to notice is up here in the headlight itself you can see it actually has Raptor stamped on the inside of the headlight and I think that looks so cool and uh, yeah I don't know what in the world that is but um, yeah <laughs> you've got some kind of a design there as well you've got a functional heat extractor uh, located to allow all of the hot air out of the vehicle uh, the reason for that is because that 3.5 liter EcoBoost, it does make a lot of horsepower, but it's the same motor in, in, as there was in the previous generation Raptor. So there's not a whole lot to look at there, but we'll show that to you here in a second. What I really want to show you is on the inside of the vehicle. On the inside of this particular Raptor is one of the most controversial things you will see in the Raptor, and that is going to be the blue interior. So fun fact for 2021 if you got the 37 inch performance package it automatically came with the blue seats now for 2022 you can actually get them separated out meaning that the ford realized that some people love the blue seats and some people absolutely hated the blue seats and so they gave them to you as separate options in 2021 which is what year model this is it was one and the same 37 inch performance package also got the blue seats for 2022 they separated it out so you can either get the 37 inch performance package or the blue seats or you can get both and so it's just interesting to note that ford actually realized that well maybe they they didn't realize and i'm not sure exactly why they made the change but they made the change to give you the different interior options available so i want to show you a couple of really really cool things uh something that you've probably seen before but you do have the interior work surface located right here so if tyler is ever needing to uh you know work on his laptop or edit videos he can literally do that right here with his laptop and he even has a normal household outlet plug located right here as well so a pretty pretty sweet setup there now in addition to that you've got the nice stitching with the raptor logo right here on the uh, center console the, uh, the armrest if you will and I do have to say that the interior, the blue, looks a lot better than it does in person than it does on camera. Um, when I saw this interior on camera and on pictures, I'm like, oh my goodness, not no, but heck no. I do not want a blue interior. Um, but it, it is, I will tell you that seeing it in person is a lot, lot better. Now, I will tell you, though, the upgrade part of this is going to be the actual Recaro seats, as you can see right here you've actually got a metal stamping that shows that this is a recaro seat uh, so the reason that's important is because it actually has more bolsters on the side so that way is you're hauling butt off-road high speed off-roading which hopefully tyler is going to be doing a lot of and showing us a lot of videos on his channel by the way go ahead and subscribe to his channel i'll have that link down below um, but these bolsters here and then also on the seat bottoms are designed to keep you from sliding out of the seat when you're going high speed off-roading or taking corners or whatever you're doing with the vehicle now, this F-150 Raptor is featured with all of the technology that you've probably seen in uh, other videos of ours. You've got things like Blue Cruise. You've got things like uh, the ability to adjust the, the shock absorbers, the steering dampers, all the things like that. Um, so it is really, really interesting to see that. So a pretty sweet setup. In addition to that, you also happen to have a 12-inch infotainment system, if you will. That system is awesome because you have a picture in a picture, if you will. So you can have your maps over here, and then you can change different uh, other things on this side. So you can see what the Pro Power on board is doing, but you can also see your navigation. Or you can see what your fuel economy is while you're looking at the navigation. I like to call that picture in a picture if you guys are old enough to know what that is. So pretty sweet setup there. Now let's talk about glove boxes for a second. You actually have two of them in here. So you've got one and two glove boxes, which is a pretty sweet setup. Now you'll also notice that the owner's manual is a lot thinner in the years past. And the reason for that is because they've included most of the owner's manual in the infotainment system underneath features. You can actually learn and figure out things about your vehicle straight from this setup. I think it is absolutely sweet. Now, a couple of other really high-end technologies. You do have the ability to parallel park and perpendicular park the vehicle itself. Uh, you've got a 360 degree camera view just by hitting the button, which is a pretty sweet setup. This truck has got literally every kind of creature comfort you can find in a high-end exotic vehicle but in a pickup truck that's actually functional.
So as you can see, we've got the window sticker right here. There's a couple of things you want to realize is that this vehicle gets a whopping 15 miles per gallon out of a V6. I thought they said Eco's, Eco Boost was the Eco stood for uh, economy. There's not a whole lot of economy going on in this 37 inch performance package, but 15 in the city, 16 on the highway. Now, as you can see, this is the 801A equipment group. So it comes with the Raptor, the B&O Unleashed audio system, the Torsen front axles. Uh, you've got the convenience package. You've got a lot Lot of different features this vehicle if I'm not mistaken when we ordered it for Tyler had every option on it except for the power moonroof that is something he opted not to select when he was ordering his Raptor all right so we've got the hood popped and I wanted to show you the engine but before we do that I want to show you these cool graphics I say cool I'm not a big fan of stickers and graphics unless it's to promote you know your company or what have you but you do have this typogra or topo topogra I can't talk but you know one of those uh, maps that shows the elevation change <laughs> I'm from Alabama. Leave me alone. All right, so now I want to show you underneath the hood. This is going to be the exact same motor or very, very similar motor to the previous gen Raptor. 3.5 high output EcoBoost V6. It's a twin turbocharged setup uh, and it makes a ton of power. This is probably one of Ford's most tried and true motors that they've had for a very, very long time outside of the, the second gen had some, some cam phaser issues. Uh, if you guys are a second gen owner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully they've got this uh, figured out on the new 2021s and up, uh, but time will tell, time will tell. But uh, other than the cam phaser, it's a fantastic motor makes a lot of horsepower doesn't get the best in fuel economy but is a very high performing engine all right so i just got a text a few minutes back from tyler saying that he's about 30 minutes away so let's do this let's get his initial reaction in seeing his brand new raptor all right man you ready to see your new truck wow awesome man. sick yeah yeah these seeing it in person it's so much like bigger compared to the videos that i've seen like watched dozens of youtube videos and Oh yeah, you got like hyper focused on it and started <laughs> right, checking yeah. everything out you could about it. Yeah. But yeah, man, this is it. Uh, here's your keys. This is Thank your new you. your new Raptor with 37s, man. Sick. Looks so much better than stock too. Oh yeah, for sure. And we've got your stock wheels in there too for you. But oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't so, know that. but yeah, these these yeah. things definitely set this thing off for sure. It's so a lot you, better. Did you choose those wheels? Who, who who selected the wheels? Did you select them or was know. it was it Colton? He he sent remember. me a few options and we had to go with what was kind of available but this yeah. is this is one of the options he went with yeah i like them they're clean just kind yeah. of low key nothing too yeah nothing, uh, nothing crazy too crazy do you remember what the offset was on these they're 17 by eight and a half with a uh, zero offset zero yeah so it's like pretty much flush with the yeah fender. it's very flush yeah which is good information for us yeah. because now we know <laughs> yeah right yeah so yeah, it fits perfect exactly it couldn't exactly be any better i don't think i'd want it to poke anymore to be honest no no man and it makes a mess on the side and it's always muddy then yeah Sure. Yeah, compared to the 35 too, it's so much bigger. Oh, it's yeah, it's significantly like, bigger. Man. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot lighter of a blue. They're a lot darker. I, I like them. So much better than what I thought it was going to be. I'm going to adjust the seat. This Pretty screen good. is huge. I've never seen one in person. <laughs> Sounds so good. Sounds, like a Sounds so good. This thing is sweet. Sounds so good, way better. Yeah, man, that's a that's a big thing that people don't realize. You know, this is a good sounding V6, man. man. It is deep. <laughs> that sounds and good for stock. Yeah, it does. that's. I don't know if they're going to be able to create an exhaust that's going to sound much better than this. That's what I wondered too. What are they really going to do? Yeah, it's already. So is this your first much. time ever driving a Raptor? Yeah. Really? Yeah, ever I've drive been... any Raptor? Any Raptor. Oh, first time. <laughs> Well, you, you get the you biggest bad. Yeah. You went for the right one then, that's for <laughs> yeah. sure. I'm just used to the F-150. It feels a lot different right off 30 <laughs> seconds driving this thing. First time on the interstate in the Raptor. It sounds so good. It does. For stock, like there's nothing better. They finally made a V6 sound good. <laughs> finally. It took them some time, but they got it. Is yours a 2.7 or a 3.5? It's a 3.5. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So comparatively, does this feel a little faster or does it feel about it the same? It feels a little faster, honestly. A little faster? Yeah. Is yours tuned or anything? Or Just stock. Just yeah. stock? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I haven't really done too much to it. These BFGs ride really well, too. You know, yes. BFGs has a long, a long, you know, history of it making really good tires. And, um... You know, it's, it's awesome. They put like a, a, a real 37 on this. You know, on the on the Bronco, they have a 35, but it's like a 315. Yeah, it's not a true 35. Exactly. So it's awesome. They went with a true 37 on this. 
I thought it'd honestly kind of be more like sway with the big tires because I've driven Jeeps that have yes 37s and it's like a death trap. It's a wobbling all over the road. It's like so you hit a bump. It's you're holding on to the steering wheel. And that's that's a that's a issue with a solid front end axle. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the you know the Bronco Broncos have that independent he had 37 yeah. on his uh, 37s on his last one uh-huh. and then we've got one up there the red one you saw has 37s oh, i didn't even notice and they ride perfect, perfect i mean yeah. Yeah, there's no swaying there's no bump steer mm-hmm. none of that i mean it's just so that's the difference they've yeah. got that figured out man so this will meet your seal of approval i think so <laughs> i think so good because you've already bought it <laughs> yeah right no backing out now so it is what it is at this point but i know no it, right? complaints i know it right no complaints yet this is the first time i've ridden in a 37 performance package myself oh, really? so yeah believe it or not this is the first 37 performance pack we've actually gotten at the dealership we've gotten a yep. couple of other raptors but i did not know that. this is the first 37 and you get lucky That's, i did get lucky <laughs> got the first got one. very lucky the only one i could find anywhere pretty much i was gonna say how are we, were you looking real hard for them or i had called probably five dealerships before um mitch actually reached out to me and then it kind of worked out where he happened to have an allocation and yep here we are like four months later and I somehow out. have one so and there you go man thank you very much yeah. congratulations thank man thank you so much i appreciate it getting yeah. me set up with this thing absolutely yeah, i couldn't be more happy with it absolutely man well, i can't wait to see all the videos he's gonna make that'll probably be centered around this truck as well yep. guys if you haven't already seen his channel you need to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to it i'll have it linked uh down at the bottom but um you know for the subscribers that we have that are not familiar with your stuff give us i guess the 20 second rundown of what your channel's about 20 second rundown i guess uh <laughs> Uh, anything off-road dirt bikes four-wheelers side-by-sides trucks now um anything off-road pretty much that's me and that's my whole channel pretty much yeah there you go that's so the rundown that well that right there aligns with you guys perfectly because most of you guys are about trucks anyway so uh, if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to his channel uh, that'll be linked down below and thank you very much for making the 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 flight all the way down yeah. from new york to alabama yeah. man that is trip. that is awesome that is awesome. are you gonna make it back all in one day Maybe we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how it goes once I get yeah. driving and absolutely. Get in the groove of well, I want to make sure you get on the road so that way we don't keep you here any longer. And thank you so much. I appreciate the business, man. Yeah. Thank you very, very thank much, you guys man. So much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And if you haven't already done so, once again, subscribe to his channel. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are giving away a full size Ford Bronco that we've been customized by TC Customs as well. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.